a lot of guys are having troubles wiring up the Quantum Nova to the Q2D gimbal. So I thought I'd just weigh in and show you what I've done on mine. Um, the QD, Q2D comes with these little control, these little servo connectors. They've got these little um, spurs on them on the side here, so you can only plug it in the right way. You can see this little edge here. That's fine for fitting it to the actually actual controller, but when it comes to fitting it to the quadcopter, it doesn't fit. So what you can do is just take your cutters and just chop off the little spur there, and it'll actually fit right in here. Or you can just get standard servo leads and do what I've done. So how I've wired it up, you've got two three-pin five-volt ports. You've got your power and your control there and there. I've attached the three-pin at the top to my roll and the second three-pin to my pitch. So that cable just comes across here with the white at the top which obviously matches the cable they send like that so, and that will enable you to control the actual gimbal once you're in the air um, I found that it was extremely unstable in the air and on the ground the gimbal would sit there shaking and rocking so I've taken the power lead that they gave us plugged it in and I've attached it to standard jumper cable into the 12 volt auxiliary port over there. I'll attach some photos as well to this and where I've got the little parts from. Um, the switch is on mode one on the side and I'll show you what that means you can now do. One thing I can say is once you've powered it on you'll get these green lights, the green light on the bottom. Once you plug your battery in just leave it out, just leave it hanging out the back of the quadcopter till the whole thing's uh, come alive and you've got this green light underneath. If you don't, you end up with these jitters on the camera and the camera can end up, so the camera sits there going rah, 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 and then rah. so watch out for that. So the way I've wired it, you'll see it gives me control on my actual controller here, on my AUX2, AUX2 I can control the angle the camera's at and the roll. The only thing you need to bear in mind is underneath on the controller itself it's got these this V1 and V2 switch. If you set that to the lowest point the roll and the, is, and the pitch is very slow and you can't move it quite you can't move it really. So make sure it's on the maximum in between if you if you have it halfway it can cause problems so stick to the maximum and that will give you the ability to control your angles quite a lot. You can see it's quite a roll. So as you're flying you can adjust the angle. 